Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore the fascinating world of hybrid solar eclipses. These rare celestial events are a mix of total and annular eclipses, and in this video, we'll dive into the science and mechanics behind them. So, let's get started. Before we get into hybrid solar eclipses, let's briefly go over the three main types of solar eclipses, total, partial, and annular. In a total solar eclipse, the Moon completely covers the Sun, leaving only the Sun's outer atmosphere, or corona, visible. In a partial solar eclipse, the Moon only partially covers the Sun, and in an annular solar eclipse, the Moon is too far from the Earth to fully cover the Sun, resulting in a ring of fire effect. Now, let's talk about hybrid solar eclipses. As the name suggests, these are a mix of total and annular eclipses. A hybrid solar eclipse occurs when the Moon's distance from the Earth changes during the eclipse, causing it to appear as a total eclipse in some locations and an annular eclipse in others. This happens because the Moon's orbit around the Earth is elliptical, which means its distance from the Earth can vary. Hybrid solar eclipses are quite rare, they only make up about 5% of all solar eclipses. The last one occurred on April 20, 2023, and the one before that on November 3, 2013. So, how do hybrid solar eclipses work? Let's dive into the mechanics. A hybrid solar eclipse can only occur during a new moon phase when the moon is directly between the Earth and the Sun. The moon's shadow is composed of two parts, the umbra, which is the darkest and innermost part, and the penumbra, which is the outer and lighter part. During a hybrid solar eclipse, the moon's umbra falls on some parts of the Earth's surface, resulting in a total eclipse. However, due to the moon's varying distance from the Earth, the umbra doesn't reach other parts of the Earth's surface, and those areas experience an annular eclipse. If you're lucky enough to be in the path of a hybrid solar eclipse, you'll need to take the same safety precautions as you would for a total or annular eclipse. This means wearing special solar glasses or using a solar filter to protect your eyes from the sun's harmful rays. Remember, it's never safe to look directly at the sun without proper protection, even during an eclipse. And there you have it. That's the science and mechanics behind hybrid solar eclipses. We hope you enjoyed learning about this rare and captivating celestial event.